the smell of wine. is this? David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves, and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower, but the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Thy light, we see the light. Of course, we are blind. Though seeing, we do not see. Though hearing, we do not hear. It means the love of God. Eternal wisdom. Stranger broke the flow of the holy tears. He was in ignorance. He ran from truth, but he fell into a dark sleep. He took the missing element with him. He's buried somewhere around.
If only I could walk on water. Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. Anastasis. In Greek, it means resurrection. Hmm, it appears to be the tomb of the ignorant man David was telling me about.
David, is that you? No, he's Alexander. Who is Alexander? He's my brother. I don't want to speak about him right now. Some memories bring back pain. I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet I don't understand.
both know that I am not guilty. I can't believe someone destroyed this precious book just to hide a key inside. A phonograph cylinder. paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love, but I never thought you would put your love for God above me. I still love you, but it doesn't matter anymore.
I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I am forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together any more. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin any more. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you. But consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this.